So today we're talking about transitions and how you guys can improve them. I'm not only gonna show you guys how you can improve it, but I'm also gonna give you a couple of drills that you can start out with before you get into full-fledged transition randori. Let's get into this video. So today we're talking about transitions, one of my favorite topics, okay? So the question everybody keeps asking is how do you get better at transitions? Now, the only true way to get better at transitions is to not do judo like a sissy and separate your newaza and your tachiwaza. Judo is a full-fledged grappling art. We do both standing and newaza. So if you wanna get good at transitions, at your home club, okay? When you're doing randori, work your transitions. It's the only true way to get really fast. And the other person that would agree with that statement is Flavio Canto from Brazil, who is also an Olympic medalist, who also is one of the world's best judo practitioners for Nawaza. And he agrees, practice transitions in the club with Tachiwaza Randori if you wanna get better. But now look, you still wanna be able to drill it, okay? Now, when you're in this position, okay, when you wanna get good at transitions, there's a couple of ways to do it. First one, okay, you've already got the traditional, she called me down for the ground. He's gonna do a drop sail. Boom, we break the grip. He lands on the ground without thinking about it. You jump into your technique, okay? Whatever that may be, okay? But you are behind your partner. So when he drops, boom, you go, nope, go down. You go right into it, okay? He is dropping, okay? He knows it's like a shido. He's gonna get it, but we're just practicing. It's more about you recognizing the position. So he's not hanging onto the gi, He's not driving down to the ground. He's not trying to run you over. All he's doing, go ahead and turn and drop. Boom, he's turning and he's dropping and I'm going. And all I'm doing is I'm practicing a little defense. So when he holds on, he goes, boom, a little bit of defense and then I go. So I show my defense, I transition, all right? It's that simple. But what you don't wanna do is this. He's here, he goes, boom, I break the grip. I then circle all the way to the front, to the other side, and then I do Sankaku, okay? Think about how long that takes for me to go from here, defense, shuffle all the way to the other side, and then do Sankaku. Terrible, terrible, it takes way too long. By the time you got all the way over there, he's balled up, he's tight, and you're into a fight. We don't want that. Look, when he's here, go ahead, boom. And I'm here, bang, I break it. If I wanna do Sankaku, I'm gonna start right here. Boom, I put my foot right now. Bang, I put it on his calf, I open him up. See, I started from the rear with Sankaku. You have to learn how to speed up your game if you wanna be good on transitions. Now, that's one type of transition where I'm attacking his poor technique, okay? The one I was able to defend. But there's another type of transition which is offensive minded. When we're in this position, I'm gonna do my drop sail. Bang, he comes down to that other side on top. When you're working with this type of transition, the grip that you have, that you were able to maintain, you have to be able to use. Look, I have this collar grip in here. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. I have this collar grip. So what I would do from this position is I would either reach over and then go for my claw, open him up and hit a roll, or I would potentially keep this grip, push off his hip, put my knee down, hook his arm here, run him back the other way, and then pin him. But I'm gonna use the grip for something, okay? Because I have it. The biggest mistake I see from people when they wanna get good at transitions or they're wondering why it's not working is this. They go here, they drop, boom, they take this grip, they get on top and they go, oh, I want to do Sankaku. He tightens up and then they go, ah, you know what? He's kind of tight. Maybe I should come back and grab a wrist. And it's like, no, you, you missed your opportunity for the transition. Now you're just doing Nawaza. You've got to practice being able to catch the techniques as they become available, okay? If he's, nope, tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. If he's tight, like, you're not gonna find the time to really get in there, but, listen up, if I started with this grip when he dropped and I have it, now I can roll him, 
right? You don't want to waste your time fighting for the grip. You want to start with it. Learn how to blend your standing and awaza together inside the clubs. Hopefully you guys found that useful. I know transition has been a big part of my game and I owe a lot of success to it. I hope you guys are able to take this back home to your clubs and really start to develop your Neiwaza game for judo. It's really going to help improve your Tachiwaza as well. Being able to actually be on your feet for longer and be able to score more often. Okay, people will be less likely to drop for no reason because you will be able to punish them for doing so. You'll be able to hit them with chokes, arm locks, and transition right into your pins every time somebody makes a bad attack in the club which means you'll be able to stay on your feet longer and attack more often. Hopefully you guys found that useful. Make sure you check out the next video if you're looking to learn more.